I'm gonna do a quick walk through my 03 Sonoma. Bagged all the way around, 20s, 25.9s. Little stretch on the tires, make them look a little bigger. I'd like to go 22s, but I've yet to tub the front end. Fiberglass interior, everything but the carpets. Got some Yukon rear seats that I chopped up. Postry done by a nice little Asian lady out of Clarksville. Blow through. Two solar barracks, sevens, fifteens. Each of them are on a old school SX twelve fifty. I've got my highs on an old school SX four hundred by two. All poke highs. We've got two mounted right by the ears so you can hear something. Two on the dash and two in the doors. The tweeters are here. Never hooked them up. Probably do that this year. Uh, custom little air gauge cluster, even though it's not connected right now. Used to run two small tanks. Now I'm just running one large tank and two compressors. The back is ugly, but cleaning it out this year has been my motivation to finally finish it. It's extremely functional, but as you can tell, keep it hid under a cover. The truck is filthy at the moment. It's about the fifth time I've got it out this year. The weather's been kind of spotty. South Central Kentucky is 71 week and 25 the next. Let's see. Inside, it's basically a time capsule. I mean, this is all 2000. Got my little cell phone holder, which used to hold an iPhone perfect. Uh, my Galaxy kind of doesn't even fit on it. Custom center console. Some sound dampening. I need to do a better job of hiding. This has been a passion of mine for years, but. Laid out, I lay frame. Back tires almost tuck in the rear. Front still got the tubs on it, but dedicated more to audio than laying the front bumper down. I mean, got the huge alternator down there. Kind of hard to see. Two Optima red tops. Each independently fused. One's for the truck and the compressors. The others just for the system. A little four banger. I wanted the four banger so I could have more room to tub the front, but decided to put some slap chop in it. More important to me at the time. I said complete blow through. I don't have very many leakage issues, but I usually keep a big piece of foam right up there for some dampening. So mattress will come up and take it out when I go to a show. Uh, oh shit handle that got fiberglassed and then broken. Never put back in. I guess I'm just gonna order a billet when I found a nice one on eBay. Like 150 fucking dollars. The old school pioneer slip out. I'm sorry, Clarion flip out. Pioneers in my car. You know, 
it's my baby. Uh, only has 40,000 on it. Like 40,000 miles, 41. I drive it a lot more now than I used to. But like I said, the bags, they're ugly. But they are highly, highly functional. I can get this thing up pretty high with the compressors on. Just gonna clean it up, get it ready for a little cruise on the square. Coming up this weekend, hopefully it's not piss point raining. Which I don't really care if it is. It's not perfect. My compressors are down here. Dual compressors. But I think this year's goal is gonna be to finish the bed. Maybe go back to a bigger tank. It's about as low as I can drive it though. In the front at least. No rope pan. Keep the bumper on there. Still got a ball hitch on here for shits and gigs. So that's filthy. Guess what? I'm gonna go fuck. But it's my baby. You can do anything if you got enough time and enough drive. A lot of this is self-taught.